Hello there, I'm Patrick, a.k.a. Papa Echo. And I'm Ryan, a.k.a. Stash Killer. Ooh, your new alias sounds a lot like... Star Killer Base from Star Wars The Force Awakens? Oh, it, it didn't even cross my mind. <laughs> How serendipitous, because today we'll be sharing some tips on creating your own Star Killer environment in the toy box. Oh man, as the basis for this video, we'll be showing off some of The Force Awakens Challenge Winners toy boxes, including Star Killer The Lost Mission by Aquatrez, and The Toy Box Awakens by Erati3, Vesiri83, Pirate Steven, Sumerian, Sonic Photo, King of the Tunas, and Mighty Jidus. Sheesh, everyone but your cousin Jeff collaborated on that one. Yeah, he was sick that day. Not enough midichlorians, apparently. <laughs> if you're looking for a sweet long-distance shot of the First Order's planetary stronghold, Check out what Aquatrez did in their toy box. They fully built the whole world out of basic blocks with the Hoth surface theme, with the center super weapon shaft built from blocks with the Geonosis droid factory floor grate and the Death Star tile themes. That sounds awesome, but say you're wanting a suitable place to have a friendly lightsaber duel. From the planet's surface, you can recreate the snowy forest landscape with Hoth or frozen themed terrain. Once you're inside the base itself, you have a whole galaxy of pieces you can use. For the massive secret weapon of the First Order, try placing four canyon outer curved terrain pieces together and give them the Imperial Space Station theme. This theme also goes great for the base walls, and be sure to mix things up with the Kiln Galaxy and Echo Base terrain themes. A common element in the First Order design is trim that's black or red. Experiment and see what looks suitably evil. In the building sets, grouped 5 category, you have a ton of pieces to use, including Death Star pillars, light panels, pipes, towers, and the Death Star throne room window. And just to keep any Resistance heroes from getting too comfortable with the decor, add a few Death Star turrets. How's that for hospitality? <laughs> for vehicles, try the First Order TIE Fighter, Recovered First Order Speeder, and the Special Forces TIE Fighter. And what First Order base would be complete without bad guys? Lots and lots of bad guys. The First Order Strike Team, First Order Heavy Arms, First Order Shielded Elite, and those annoying First Order Officers will ruin any Resistance Fighter's day. And remember, adding special effects from the effects generator creativity toy, you know, like explosions and laser blasts, makes any Starkiller assault more intense. First. For further inspiration, be sure to check out the awesome winners of the Force Awakens Challenge, found in community content, then Disney's toy boxes, then developer picks. And to unlock most of the Force Awakens toys, be sure to play through the playset and get golds and challenges and stars and missions. And here's a little tip. Getting three stars in all the missions will net you Poe Dameron's super sweet X-Wing. Shazam! That's it for this week's tips and tricks. Leave any questions in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out our in-depth tutorials for the awesome new 3.0 toy box. And as always, may the Force be with you!